not work. Uh, Aiden, you and Jalen were the leading tacklers coming over from James Madison last year, now at Indiana. What's been the vibe with the transfers around coming in and starting the season strong? Uh, initially, just in this first game, we're kind of working on building that continuity. Uh, there's a lot of new faces here, offense and defense. So uh, being able to have Jay Walt uh, from JMU and having him with me now, we were able to kind of build that amongst us and then the linebacker room, which kind of branched out of the DBs and the D-line. So uh, I think you kind of saw that today. Uh, obviously, a lot of things work out first game with a lot of new faces, but I think having him, I've been able to kind of rely on him for a lot of the same checks and same different things that we did at James Madison and we can bring here. Can you kind of assess the way the defense played? in particular the way the first half ended and the way you bounced back? Uh, the end of the second quarter, it didn't go uh, the way we were expecting. Um, we did a lot of sloppy things, a lot of messy things, missing tackles, uh, bad angles. Uh, just really just not what our defense is about. So, um, I mean, first game, you got to assess those things. But uh, coming out in the second half, being able to shut them out, um, I think we played solid. Just a lot of things to grow off of and learn from. D-line came to really do a good job being were really active. I guess for you as a linebacker, how much easier does that make your job? I mean, it, it makes my job pretty easy. Uh, you got four guys that go out there and can dominate every play, and I'm just playing behind them, making plays off of, off of what they do, and allow them to play fast is our biggest thing, and that allows me to play fast and make those explosive plays. Just overall, what was your experience like playing here in Bloomington for the first time? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, a lot of fans start the game. Uh, we need those fans to stick around for the second half of games, but uh, it, it was awesome coming out here and seeing them kind of when it's this new Indiana, as everybody's been saying, and a new culture is really coming here now. What goes into keeping fans here for the second half of games? Um, just knowing that the games aren't going to get lopsided anymore. Um, and if they do, we're going to be on top. So the biggest thing I'd say is stay in these stands. And we, kinda, we need the fans to get us going and keep us in these games. And they play a bigger role than they think. In early success, he had a sack, I think, uh, very early in first or second series. I forget which. But, um, you know, just in terms of taking rhythm away from uh, Kiwan Jenkins, you know, just talk about how the early success you guys had, you know, they were fighting uphill. Uh, he's a very mobile guy, a uh, really good quarterback that can kind of hurt you with his legs. So our biggest thing was containing him, uh, knocking him off his rhythm, and um, getting that sack. And the many others that we had during this game were a key to keeping him kind of contained and allowing us to thrive on defense. How much did the offense and their couple early touchdowns help you guys be able to play a little bit more aggressive and get downhill? Uh, it's definitely complimentary football. Uh, being able to see them go and kind of take off the way they did uh, kind of makes us feel like we got to pick up our end of the slack and just shut these teams out and let the points soar. You guys talked a lot in the offseason about playing aggressive. I think coaches use the term playing vertical defensively. Just Is that, you know, eight tackles for loss, four sacks, is that the kind of performance that you're talking about when you talk about playing that way, that disruptive, that, you know, as you said, kind of keeping guys off rhythm? 100%. Uh, if you look back at the stats the past two years, we've been really good against the run. Um, you know, we've been a very explosive defense. We play vertical, we play fast, um, and, and physical is the last part of that defense. And, being able to allow our D-line play free, play vertical, allows the linebackers kind of clean up what, what's been happening in front of them, and that's how we make a lot of our plays.